Pero no, Picas. Venga. Thank you. Uh, before the... Sir, tayo ang kalaban ng langit. Pagsakay natin ng ulan, ang buang naghinto. I cannot understand. Excellencies, the ambassadors and members of the Diplomatic Corps, Executive Secretary Salvador Mideldia, National Defense Secretary Delvin Lorenzana, Interior and Local Government Officer in Charge, Eduardo Anu and the other members of the Cabinet, Philippine National Police Chief, Director General Oscar Albayaldi, the officers and staff of the 2018 awardees of the Philippine National Police, other distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, mga mahal kong police, uh, saludo ako sa inyo. I congratulate the men and women of the Philippine National Police as we celebrate the 117th anniversary of the police service. The milestone is proof of your very unwavering resolve and commitment to keep our communities, streets and homes safe and secure for more than a century. Today's occasion is also a celebration of your success the cleansing the organizations from the Kalawags who hampered the PNP's efficiency in performing its mandate to enforce the law and serve our people. Your performance in the past two years speak well of your efforts in instituting reforms from within your own. Because of your tireless dedication, we have apprehended almost 1,060, 160 illegal drugs personalities in the past two years. We have also resolved for more than 600 administrative cases as part of your efforts to cleanse your ranks. Furthermore, we have achieved a total crime solution efficiency rate of 72.13. Kaya ako sumasaludo sa iyo ako kasi bilib talaga ako sa inyo. You know, the police can be very good if they want to be good. Yan ang nakikita ko for the 23 years they've been mayor of the city supervising a police force. At kung meron namang iba, if they wanted to be on the wrong side of life, well, those, uh, at least for my city, sometimes you lose your pants, sometimes you lose your life. Furthermore, due to your persistent efforts to fulfill your mandate, to maintain law and order across the country, you have a very happy population nag nagkaroon pa ng parang utang na loob sa inyo. At tama naman. And uh, during the days of your uh, need, uh, you had the support of the Filipino people. Kaya nakita ninyo, kaya huwag ninyong pagsayangan. Do not waste the feeling of being great as a Filipino, proud of the police, at yung iba sisirain lang. You know, yung mga, hindi kaya, you're not here. I think nobody is here. But yung pumunta sa opisina ko kahapon, uh, you know, the, the, the warning does not make any distinction. When I say that government or I uh, 
in the worker of government in charge of the enforcement of the law overall. May I just also remind you that we have a policy. We do not destroy nations. We protect and serve our nations. We have to prepare the world of our descendants for tomorrow. If we cannot do something now, so drugs, your grandchildren will suffer. And we would have uh, left a life and a nation to them that is still in shambles. I have taken unto myself the full responsibility and assume all in the campaign against drugs. Again, I'd like to repeat it again and again and again so that malaman ng mga criminal. Now, if there were no arrests made in the previous regime, I do not particularize any administration. Sabi nila na walang patay, walang naaresto, walang ginawa ang polis. Kasi ganito yan. The moment and the only leverage, I've been a prosecutor, believe me, I cannot impose a lie on the Filipino nation. But when I was a prosecutor, I could sense na kung may success story ang police in the raid sa trabaho, they are deathly afraid also of the counter charges. And I would not hesitate and dare say na ang panlabang kasi nila is to file a counter charge. The drug people have all the money. But, one, but once a police is uh, suspended, as a matter of course, wala naman tayong magawa. The law says that when you are charged, uh, you are suspended. Kaya ang police takot magkakaso because the moment the day the order comes for them, suspending them from the force, on that day, wala na kayong pagkain at ang mga anak ninyo minsan ang pag-aaral na puputol. Ganon ang sekreto dyan. Would you believe that is one million six hundred addicts, victims of drugs, reduced to slavery by a few people is slavery to a chemical called shabu, and they would have lost their present and future. Life is not fair, and some make it harder for people to make good. Yung mga anak, and I pity them, if I do not make the last stand, I don't know who would be the president next. Pero kung ganun lang rin, na matakot sa droga, at they were able to hide successfully the fact that they had contaminated millions of Filipinos. And there were no prosecutions, no big time used to be millions, now it is billions. You know, drug people, when you earn a billion, that is my donation to you for your life. If you run a billion industry in my country, I will not let it pass. It's either you kill me or I will kill you all. I do not give a shit about criticism. For criticisms, after all, do not make a country progress and develop. 
criticisms for lalo na yung politika, they cannot accept defeat. And other governments, here comes one president berating me in public, in a public forum. So he invited my insults. And he had it coming. And it was a dirty word. And I said, I don't give. I, you know, for after always in this country collapses under the weight of crime. And it was only after drug was uh, reduced to the barest minimum, our country improved in the peace and order condition. Kung hinayaan ko yun, tinago ko rin. And this one million six hundred that they surrendered, look at the surrenders now. They are skinny, they are sick, they do nothing, they are zombies. And they have to commit crime because they do not have the money. And when the craving for a fix is there, crime cannot be far behind. And even kill pregnant prosecutors and uh, the human rights for all of its never raised hell. But when you kill a criminal, a drug addict, a pusher, a drug lord becomes screening. So I ask them, Sino ba ang niloloko ninyo? You threaten me with an ICC case. You think that... Look, I have hit the firewall. I cannot run again. For all intents and purposes, actually, I am a lame duck president. If you're talking about politics, okay. I will not interfere anyway, because after this, I cannot even run for a barangay captain. I have reached my limits. But you know, you broke. I will not stretch my, my patience with you. Either we stop this during my term, and do not worry about me, I can take care of myself. Just do your duty. I need not lecture to you. I was your professor in the police academy. You had two years of study about human rights. When is there a time to kill? And when, uh, when is it okay for you to just hang on and keep your patience? The rule is, when your life is in danger, and you feel that really you will die and leave a family fatherless, do not hesitate to kill. Do not hesitate because of a case. If you do your duty in accordance with the law, and you know that, when your life is in danger, you stick to the law. Never mind the idiots about the human rights. They cannot help you. But I will be here, I will, as a president. I will never allow you to go to jail. Just do your duty. Wala kayong isipin. I will provide the lawyer for you. You have to do is call the police office. I have a small uh, cubicle there, manned by police and military. And that unit takes care of police and soldiers who find themselves in a fix. And I will provide you the lawyer. For policemen, pag nasuspend kayo, duty connected, in all good faith, it's all work. Never mind. I will pay you when you are suspended so that you can still bring money to your family.
and I will hire the lawyer, or if you want a lawyer of your choice, tell the military, the pasaninyo, and let the world know. You can choose your counsel is really something of trust and confidence. Then I can have a billing system schedule. Just tell them that no, the the mayor will pay you. But you know there is this uh, reasonable, uh, you know, or unless COA would start to again tinker with the war. And as we know, we are bound by the law to follow the auditing rules. Maybe. I will bargain. If he asks for 50,000 for this, can you make it for 35? Both 30. Anyway, this guy is doing it in the name of public service. I have to have a strong police and a strong military. And the spectacle of a case that you will go hungry and go to jail. That not easy. I will provide a lawyer, and I will see to it that he will defend you on the principles of performance of duty or self-defense. Mamili Gajan, both are grounds for a criminal exemption. Basta totoo lang, just let the truth come out. Nung sa trabaho niya, Pag nakatutok ng baril yan, o may batong hawak, hindi ka pa nakahawak ng mga ihampas sa ulo mo, why do you think fracture in the head cannot kill you? I said, there is no, there's, there's no firearm there. Let your lawyer decide. I cannot attend to all your cases. Gusto ko matulong mag-review, but I simply do not have time to do it. I do not want a police force that's corrupt. If you are into drugs, the possibility is great that I will be after you. And I said, you might lose your pants, including your life. Double the hate because you are in government service and you do drugs. Pero kung trabaho lang, the way we Love our country with fervor. We are lying up there, I'm talking. Just consider me a co-worker of government like you. I just happen to be there holding office and deciding some of the things that would affect the destiny of this country. I would like to emphasize that the PNP has the government's full support and this administration is fully committed to enhance your capabilities. In fact, we have allotted more than 2 billion pesos for the, M the PNP Capability Enhancement Plan. In my city, I have built, I asked the NHA to build uh, Houses there. Not the 24 type na ayaw ninyo. And I can understand it. Uh, that will rise soon. It's a 1,000. Uh, it's for the police. and But I another have a building but far away. And this is also to shelter the surrenderers. But after all, if we do not go into a dedicated you know, uh, being the guide, providing the light, they will just simply return to fight again. We have to fulfill our promise. We have to give them the shelter, the houses. And we have to train them, test them. I have poured billions of to test Testa so that they will be able to learn something there. Learn a new trade. Just a Testa is a something which is really important. And in the meantime that they do not have the jobs, I pay. Until such time that they become productive members of the society. But in una comuna, you have the precedence. 
and uh, it's it's near my my, my place uh, kung sino yung mga taga Mindanao or Davao or Oriental but Davao is the center of uh, you know population anybody of you Galing Davao, Davao del Norte, Sur, Oriental, at Occidental. You are free to apply there. Free housing for your family. Dito sa Manila, I will just have to wait for uh, the Secretary of Finance. Because he has something in mind to help you. Uh, maybe we will list some of the prime properties. Huwag ito. Yung malaki itong ano eh. Just like Taguig. You can have it. Uh, Dominguez wants uh, a GSIS for you in addition to what you are having now. And if you get the funds there, you're not supposed to dispose of it. I will just give you the power but you can lease it and you have to limit it for about 30 years. Yesterday, I fired the Council of uh, Nayong Pilipino, all of them. You do not give gobbling licenses or franchise for 75 years. I mean to say that a child is born today and 75 years later, he's that old there will still be gambling in this city. I will not allow it. I hate gambling. I do not want it. There will be no casinos outside of what are existing. I am not granting anything. Basta gambling, I hope. Better look for something more uh, enticing, just waging your, to wager a war the money. We likewise assure you that you will do your best and our best to promote the welfare and uniform personnel and that of your families. Since you put your lives on the line to serve our country and people, it is only just and fair, just fair that the government takes care of you as well. As we celebrate this milestone in your organization, I enjoy our police personnel to continue performing your duties well and intensify the war against crime. Drugs, or drug was the responsible element in the runaway crime situation that start, in our country that started about four years ago. Alaman ninyo yan. Ay ngayon, Anjana, I have stated my case. I have uh, clearly defined my position. And I will do it. Alam naman yung diabo. When I say, if I say in public, I will do it. When I say in public, do not do it because you will. Then do not do it for God's sake. Do not do it. Your heroism and valiant efforts cannot be overemphasized. In fact, some of you are given medals and due recognition because of your innumerable contributions in our efforts to create an environment where our people can live in peace and without fear for the safety and security of their families. Just like when there was this Kadayawan every August, I told every movie houses, every hotel. I was just a new mayor then. Improve on your high sanitation and hygiene. I do not want to see something on that bowl of your toilet floating. You must have water and you must provide some relief. But I was new then. Hindi na diwala. And you can ask uh, any military guy who had the 
the chance to sojourn and visit my city. I closed them all. And when there was a time when the victims of uh, firecrackers, pyrotechnics, reached 700, I said, it must be a stupid government to allow its citizens to be hurt. Just a tradition. What about tradition? Tradition of killing our children? Tradition of... Uh, I said, stop it. So, you want a quiet Christmas, New Year? Go to Davao. As a matter of fact, you go to Davao now at, set, at 12. And this is not my... Yung babae doon, uh, ano. At 12 o'clock, Semana Santa ang Davao. At, at uh, 12 o'clock in the evening, it's all quiet. Walang aso kasi ayaw ko ng aso sa panahon ko. Saan yung aso? Anong ginawa ko? Eh, huwag okay. eh. Mayroong isa talaga dyan, animal lover. So, pipiyak na pipiyak yan. So, hindi ko nang sabihin kung ano. Pero kayo mga Ilocano, pakita nga kayo kung sino kayo. Ako may official ako doon na babae, taga Tugigaraw. Every other day, kumakain ng aso. Naubos ang aso sa Davao. Dumating na ang mga Ilocano eh. <laughs> oh, you have a problem with Paasahin ka ng mga Ilocano na ubos ang aso. May this occasion inspire you and even more to continue to persist in your noble mission to protect our people and uphold the rule of law at all times. Salamat sa invitasyon ninyo. I have to go to your hospital. I would like to leave something for all to hear. I am giving you 25 million for medicines and all. Yung when you reach 50, meron ka ng 56 kayo. Uh, trouble starts at that age. Comes diabetes, meron ng heart, Merong, wala ba kayong kasong AIDS dito? Mahal? Itong ina yung polis na yan. Merong kayo dito? It will take care of your expenses. 25 is, if to put to good use, it is enough. If you want a major ganon, you can always choose. I will pay. Kung alam mo, you go to St. Luke, Cardinal Santos is just, well, John. If it uh, needs a very specialized uh, at wala tayong uh, doktor, it's uh, sometimes a field with specialization. Yan, eh. You just tell me. Do not go out about an stuff. Uh, we can afford it. You do not have to beg there and steal or borrow. Just tell me. I said, this office. It's headed by Kerna Salcedo, is he here? Are you here, sir? Si Salcedo, the police assigned in, in my office. No. Uh, yeah, he's the one. Just call him. Uh, so yung police naka-assign doon. And the military is his... Uh, saan yung military? Sa the Air Force? He takes care of the calls also of the military. And I will... Uh, kaso, sabihin ninyo, napasubo, ito, disgrasya. And I will never turn my back. All that I ask is that we serve our country the utmost good faith do not go into corruption. If you think that you cannot survive with the salary, then you are free to go. Pero kung ganito lang rin, pag magtiis kayo, but you, did, you do something, and that you, you have been doing it, you did it in the past, 
Just do it now, again. And we pray to God. Uh, ako, I assure you, this will be a clean government. And I said, the military and the police, if I do not perform, if I violate the, my oath of office, if I am into corruption, you guys and the military, no need to bring the armor. It would be locked, because you will be meeting my... Well, of course, there, there's a lot of mix there. Also, Sundalo Kagayani. If you think that I am, I am destroying the country, or I'm not doing well, all you have to do, the major commanders, the command, they can always pay a visit and say, Mayor, it's time for you to go, I think. And I will step down. No need for this rocos about tanks and everything. Kung tingin ninyo na, Ay, hindi, walang, wala akong, walang pag-asa ang bayan natin pag ako. You're free to seize power. And maybe it's your option of what to do with the country. Maybe you might be able, more than I, baka you can solve the problem. But for the main time that I'm here, I said, I'm a co-worker, just like you. Magtulungan tayo. And there are standards which is not mine which is required by law in all of the code of ethics and all the things that uh, we do when we swear to serve the country. Will, will it be just follow the country? Me, I will abbreviate your both of bodies. Your duty and mine is to preserve the Republic and to protect, protect the people. Simple. And that's all, that's all there is to it. Maraming salamat at mabuhay ang PNP. Tigas tayo. So, thank you very much. Salamat.